So we are going to continue our lesson on coordinate geometry 2. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the equation of a circle given the ends of the diameter. Now assuming that we have a circle with C to be the center of the circle. And then we have two points A and B on the circumference of the circle. So A has coordinates x1, y1. And then B also has coordinates x2, y2. Also, let's assume that we have a point P on the circumference of the circle with coordinates x, y. Now, let's join the line AB. So, the line AB passes through the center of the circle. Hence, we call this the diameter. Now, from circuit theorems, we learned that the angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference of the circle is 90 degrees. The angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference of the circle is 90 degrees. Therefore, the line AP is perpendicular to the line BP. In that case, we say that the gradient of the line AP times the gradient of the line BP is equal to negative 1. So gradient of line AP times the gradient of line BP is equal to negative 1. Now let's find the gradient of line AP and then BP. So for line AP, we have the gradient to be y minus y1 over x minus x1 times for line BP we have y minus y2 over x minus x2 and this is equal to negative 1. Now let's multiply across. So we have y minus y1 times y minus y2 divided by x minus x1 times x minus x2. At this point, we can cross multiply. So this becomes y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals negative 1 times x minus x1 times x minus x2. So this is the required equation to find the equation of a circle given the ends of the diameter. Now let's try a couple of examples. So we have two questions here. We are going to find the equation of a circle with AB as diameter where I, A is 2, 1, that is the point A is 2, 1 and B is 4, 7. I, I, we have point A to be negative 3, negative 1 and then B to be negative 5, negative 3. So we are going to consider point A to be our first point, that is x1, y1, and then point B to be our second point, x2, y2. So we said that the equation of a circle given the ends of the diameter is given by y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals negative 1 times x minus x1 times x minus x2. So let's solve for i. We are going to substitute this point into this equation. So a is x1, y1, and then b is x2, y2. So we have y minus y1 is 1. And then y minus y2, we have y2 to be 7, equals negative 1 times x minus x1, that is 2, and then x minus x2, that is 4. Now let's multiply across. So we have y times y, which is y square. y times negative 7 is negative 7y. Negative 1 times y is negative y. 
and then negative 1 times negative 7 is plus 7 this is equal to negative 1 and then we have x times x which is x square x times negative 4 which is negative 4x negative 2 times x is negative 2x and then negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8 now let's simplify so this becomes y square minus 8y plus 7 equals negative 1 times x square minus 6x plus 8 at this point we can multiply negative 1 across so we have negative x square plus 6x minus 8 equals y square minus 8y plus 7 now let's transpose the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side so that we have x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 7 plus 8 equals 0 so finally we have x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 15 so this is the equation of the circle now let's solve for ii also we have this to be x1 y1 and then point b to be x2 y2 so using the same equation that is y minus y1 y minus y2 equals negative 1 x minus x1 x minus x2 we have y1 to be negative 1 so that becomes y minus negative 1 and then y minus y2 is negative 3 so into brackets negative 3 equals negative 1 times x minus x1 that is negative 3 and then x minus x2 negative 5 let's simplify so this becomes y plus 1 times y plus 3 equals negative 1 times x plus 3 x plus 5 now we can multiply across so y times y is y square y times 3 is 3y 1 times y is y and then 3 times 1 is 3 equals negative 1 times x times x is x square x times 5 is 5x 3 times x is 3x and then 3 times 5 is 15 so we have y square plus 4y plus 3 equals negative 1 times x square plus 8x plus 15 we multiply negative 1 across so negative x square minus 8x minus 15 equals y square plus 4y plus 3 again we are going to transpose the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side so that becomes x square plus y square plus 8x plus 4y plus 3 plus 15 equals 0 x square plus y square plus 8x plus 4y plus 18 equals 0 so this is the equation of the circle